Hey everybody, Leanne here, and I want to thank you for joining me today on a special Friday live stream. I've got a great um, itinerary for you today. We're going to be talking about champagne. We're going to be talking about wedding parties. We're going to be talking about bachelorette parties, bridal showers, all kinds of fun things because, you know, wedding season's right around the corner. So, whew, let me get started. <laughs> Got so much to do today. So when I have parties at my house, I like to um, have a welcome cocktail for my guests. So the first thing that I want to talk about, though, before we get into the welcome cocktail is the base of our welcome cocktail, which is going to be some sparkling wine from New Mexico, actually. And this is uh, the Gruet Fruit from here in New Mexico. You guys know that um, we like to showcase local businesses for some community positivity. And um, Brian and I like to go to the Gruet Winery and we like to go, they have a tasting room in Santa Fe and we like to go there and um, try their champagnes and just have a nice lovely evening. We've had some friends with us, uh, Jamie and um, Dan from California. Hi guys. And they've been there with us, so we have a really good time. And so, you know, I always like to talk about the history of um, the wine. And so Gilbert Gruet is the founder, and he was born in Bethone, France in 1931. And he grew up in a poor family, and they be he began working at a young age. And then in 1952, uh, him and... Uh, and his wife, Daniela, they dreamt of producing fine quality champagne. And in 1967, they uh, created a local um, champagne uh, vineyard in France. And then in 1983, they moved to, um, they were traveling through the Southwest and they came across New Mexico. They met some European winemakers and um, they started planting near Truth or Consequences, which is about 170 miles south of where I am. And um, so that's where they kind of got their start in New Mexico. And so let's get some champagne going, shall we? So I want to talk about, I forgot to write the tasting notes down. So let me see if I can read it on the bottle. Uh, it says, um, let's see, lingering see wonderful aromas of green apple citrus and mineral root notes are rounded out by a lingering finish with a hint of brioche so that is what we're going to be drinking to start and oh, i wanted to talk to you guys about my um Vinglese wine chiller this is a great wedding gift all of the products that i'm talking to you about today are going to be um links in the description and um, so please support our channel and um, um, I can't talk today. Please support our channel. And if you use any of our links, it uh, provides money for our channel without any additional costs for you. And then later today, when I talk Pamper Chef and do my Unchained Goddess Boxing, we're gonna have uh, discounts, uh, discount codes for those. So let's have some champagne, shall we? And I, I don't know why I'm like really nervous today. I'm not normally nervous. Maybe I didn't drink enough earlier. <laughs> so let's put this out of the way. And I love that wine chiller. Um, there is a video where we reviewed and unboxed the wine chiller. Oh, a couple of months ago. Hi, Ryan. And um, it is a great wine chiller. It doesn't... Um, no, I didn't. <laughs> it doesn't, um, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so the great thing about that wine chiller is that it not only insulates your wine without using ice, but it protects it if you knock it over. And Brian in our live stream or in our video that we reviewed it, he dropped it from like two feet in the air and it didn't even dent the, the, the chiller, nor did it hurt the bottle. So that's always awesome. So cheers, everyone. Thank you for coming. And I love the color. It's so pretty. Love all the bubbles. Okay. 
So let me turn on the close-up camera because we are going to, wait, take me a second. We're going to start cooking. All right, so I got the live or the close up camera working here. Here we go. So we're going to have a welcome cocktail, what I like to do when we have parties. And so for what I'm going to be making for you today is a um, strawberry lemon splash. And um, I'm just gonna use my Zule kitchen uh, zester just to get a little bit of um, zest so that we can put it on the top to give it some pretty color. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna just do a little bit. I don't want too much, because especially since it's just me, because Brian had to work again. <laughs> so, we're going to start with some strawberries. Now you can use, um, what happened to my strawberries? <laughs> What's my strawberries? Oh, there they are. <laughs> so um, the great thing about this cocktail is you can use um, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, whatever kind of berries you want because the lemon is just gonna bring out the flavor and the champagne is just gonna bring out the flavor of the, uh, of the strawberries. Yeah, it got posted. I posted it all over. We got a couple of people on. If you're on, say hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut my strawberry in half. And then you just want to muddle the strawberry. I always forget I have this close-up cam. You want to muddle the strawberry. And you can use a muddler or you can use a spoon, whatever you like. Just kind of muddle it at the bottom. And the camera might be too low for what I'm doing right now. So let's do it over here. So then you want to take some lemonade and I just use, hi Yali. Hey, hey, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys were so lucky. The, uh, the beautiful genius behind Unchained Goddess is here. Thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh. So Trish is here. She's the she's the um, founder creator of Unchained Goddess that we're going to be talking about later today. So thank you for coming. Hey Yali, good to see you. And so now, like I said, we're going to add some lemonade. So we've got our strawberry in the bottom of our glass. And when I'm in a hurry, I just use. Um, I just use the uh, Simply Lemonade brand because it really is it's a nice lemonade. It's a nice store-bought lemonade. And um, it's just really good if, you, if you're short on time. So I'm going to fill my glass about halfway with the lemonade. And then I'm going to move that out of the way. And so this is what we've got so far. We've got our strawberry. And then we have our lemonade. And then we're going to add, hey, Coca. Hi, thank you for coming. Then we're going to add our champagne. The best part, right? And you don't want to add too much at a time because it will spill. And yeah, the close-up cam is just not in the right place for this tall of an item here. There we go. So you just fill it up 
with your champagne and there is your strawberry lemon splash and it's really great for bridal showers mother's day um barbecues picnics it's a really fun cocktail and it's really easy so welcome and i always forget my little banners <laughs> That was my banner. <laughs> so this is our welcome cocktail, strawberry lemon splash. I hope you enjoy that. All right, so now we are going to talk about some Pampered Chef products um, because I wanna cook and share some recipes with y'all. So let me get this out of the way and clean up a little bit. It's now it's time to talk about Pampered Chef. So for those of you that are in the United States, because unfortunately they don't ship over um, outside of the United States, um, I'm having a Pampered Chef party this weekend. And it is, um, it is uh, going on this weekend. And so the link to my party is in the description. And I've already used one of my products that I love very much. And it is the um, one cup prep bowls. Because for those of us like Coca and all of my friends that do um, videos for, um, for YouTube, this is really great to prep your ingredients. So I had my strawberry and I've got my other ingredients. And so the thing I love about this is not only because they have a lid, but there's measurements, right? There's the quarter, half, three quarters, and then at the top is a, is a full. And it's got lids, so you can prep ahead of time. So what we're going to make today is we're going to make goat cheese prosciutto cups. And so I've got my oven at uh, going right now at 350 and I have it's really simple. There's only, is it four ingredients? So there is goat cheese that I have at room temperature, prosciutto for the cups, milk. And I told you guys before that since we don't drink a lot of milk, I love these um, little milk boxes because they're shelf stable and, um, if you only need like a tablespoon for like this recipe, you don't you don't waste a whole gallon of milk. So that and some chives, and then I've got some parsley too, just for extra. So let's get started. And I want to talk about my pampered chef pan that I'm going to use. Um, so as I have said to my pampered chef party peeps, that I have loved pampered chef products for about 20 years and they do really well and the thing i love most about these pans is that they don't get dark when you use them i've had this for about a year and uh, they don't buckle you know when the pan gets hot and it kind of pops you don't have that with these they're really nice and sturdy and heavy so we don't have to worry about that and then to make my prosciutto cups i found these cute little um mini Silicone molds, aren't they adorable? They are just so cute, right? I mean, these are just really cute. So I'm gonna use these to put my um, prosciutto in. And they come in different colors and the ones that I bought, and I have the link in the description, they've got um, different colors and then they have stars. They have hearts which is really cute for our channel. And then they have roses too. So you can make like chocolate molds, you can make um, little mini muffins, and it's just really fun. So I'm looking forward to trying these. Let's get these out of the way. I definitely need more cocktail. And Coca says that the star and the heart are so cute and they are, they're adorable. All right, so let's get started on this. So um, 
we're going to take our goat cheese and you need about four ounces of goat cheese. There you go. You need about four ounces of goat cheese. And nothing is cooperating with me today, but y'all know how live streams go. And I'm gonna use a fork because I just, I like using a fork to stir things. So I'm gonna use a fork. And like I said, you definitely want this to be room temperature. And then um, you're gonna add about a tablespoon of um, green onions or chives if you don't like green onions, you can use chives, or you can use any herb that you want. Ooh, those are strong. <laughs> That's probably good. And let's see, I need a little bit of milk. And actually, I should have done that after I put the prosciutto in the oven. <laughs> you guys know that I'm a train wreck, right? So you're used to this channel by now. So let me come back to this and let's get the um, prosciutto going. All right, so since I have six cups, we only need three slices of prosciutto. Now the prosciutto I prefer to work with if it's cold because it's just easier to work with, but it did get a little warm waiting for it to start. So you wanna take your slice. You guys see that? Yeah, you wanna take your slice and cut it in half across. And I forgot, if I forgot to tell you, I already have my oven at 450. Then we're going to put these in the molds, if it'll work. So you might have to like fold it in a little bit. Because we're just gonna make some little tiny cups. There we go. Isn't that cute? Where's that? Isn't that really cute? It's gonna be really cute. So there's one, let's do some more. So we're just gonna shape the um, prosciutto into the little molds so that when they come out of the oven, they'll be like little cups. And you don't have to be perfect. Just do your best. The one thing, you know, I had a friend tell me once that, and I love you, Tracy. I had a friend tell me once that, um, don't worry if the stuff's not perfect because that's how they know people, that's how people know that it's homemade. And I thought that was just so sweet because somebody had said something and she was like, oh, you know, that's how we know it's homemade. That's how we know that, you know, you made it versus bought it at the store because it wasn't perfect. And all that matters is that you show the love for the person that you made it for, right? All right. So we're about half done here. Just a couple more. And I don't know about you guys, but I love prosciutto. <laughs> it is one of my favorite things to eat. I love it with avocado and of course with champagne. <laughs> and we're gonna make them all like different. All right, last slice. Then we can stick these in the oven. Yeah, it's so funny. I don't know why I I don't know why I am nervous on this this uh, episode today, guys. I'm never nervous. <laughs> I 
I'm just normally a train wreck. You guys know that by now. That one's not cooperating. All right, we're almost done. And I can put these in the oven. All right, so there's the last one. Aren't they cute? These are gonna be cute. So we're gonna put these in the oven for about eight minutes or so and um, put these in the oven. Okay, so now I can finish the, um, now I can finish the uh, filling for the cups. And like I said, it's just goat cheese, some chives or green onion, that's what I had at the store today, and um, some milk. And you just kind of whip it up until it's smooth and it's working really well. And then we're gonna put it in um, my decorator that I will show you guys in a minute. And you could use any herbs that you want. If you don't like green onions, you can use parsley, which I'm gonna put on the top. And you can use, um, um, I don't know, you could probably use thyme or rosemary, just any kind of fresh herb. All right, so we're gonna put this to the side for now. And we're gonna talk some more products. I have too many computers. Hey, Gnome, how are you? Thank you for coming and recipes and classified. Cooking with this guy, thank you. I don't wanna miss anybody. If I missed you, put something else in the chat again so I can see you. I think I got every yeah shots. <laughs> we definitely need shots. All right. So let's talk about some more products. Okay. So I have, like I said, I've been with Pampered Chef. I am just hosting a party. Um, it helps support my channel. They do, um, if you do buy from the party this weekend, I do get discounts and some free products and stuff. So that will support our channel and at no additional cost for you. And um, that way I can make more great recipes for you guys, right? But I wanna show you some of the products that I have had forever because they are very longevity. I've had these wooden spoons for about 20 years. And um, this slice and serve cake thing, which is awesome. And I love that it has this little protector on it so you don't cut yourself um, when it's in the, uh, the utility drawer. And then, oh my gosh, I use this meat tenderizer all the time, chop nuts, uh, you know, smash nuts with it. It is a great um, product that I use all the time. And then um, my pastry blender, which I absolutely love. So those are a few of the things that I use from Pampered Chef. And so let's move this stuff out of the way. And let me see where I'm at in my itinerary for the day. Okay, so the stuff's in the oven. All right, so let's talk parties, right? So we want to talk about bachelorette, bridal, wedding showers, whatever you want to call it. That is what we're going to talk about why we are waiting for the prosciutto cups to cook. And so, like I said, my, my uh, Facebook friend, Trish, she is the creative genius and the just wonderful businesswoman that that is behind Pamper, uh, Unchained Goddess. And so I have um, not used her product before, but I have heard nothing but great things about, about her stuff. And um, so I wanna tell you a little bit about uh, Unchained Goddess. 
It is a intimate moisturizer. And um, the thing that's great about it is that it is hyperallergenic, non-scented, and um, it's made with uh, botanicals like aloe vera and um, uh, let's see what else is in there. Aloe vera and quinoa, uh, green tea, linseed, hemp, and oat extracts. And it's rich in vitamins and, and antioxidants and it's just great for your skin. And um, like I said, there is a discount code and it's rolling on your screen and it's also in, um, in the description. Oh, Andrew is here too. Hi, Andrew. And um, so if you, if you are one of the first 10 people to use my discount code this weekend, um, you will not, um, if you buy a hundred milliliter bottle, and I believe it's 49.99, um, you'll get a free hundred milliliter refill. And that is really great because the thing that's great about um, about the uh, moisturizer is that it comes in a, in a refillable bottle. So it's great for the um, environment. So I love the packaging. I mean, that is great. Don't want that there. So this is great uh, packaging. It's so pretty and it's, and it's very discreet. So we're gonna open it. And I'm gonna have to adjust. How's that? Is that better? It's this really pretty box. It's just lovely. It's great uh, for a gift. I love that it comes in pretty paper. And they take care in how they wrap it. And like I said, I've never used this before, so I'm really excited about it. All I know is that I've seen it online and it's just so pretty. And um, you can leave it on your counter. So um, let's see what we got in here. We've got some information stuff. And then we have um, the box. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. So she also has. Isn't that pretty? She also has um, these beautiful face masks and um, I am so excited to see it because this is like, if you know, now that they're starting to open things, you can start um, going out. And so you've got this pretty face mask. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just really well made. Oops, it's very well made and it's very pretty. And I like that. So put that there. And I just love the packaging. It's just really pretty. It's great for a gift. All right. So now we're going to open. So. That is so pretty. Isn't that a pretty box? And it's very high quality. Hang on. <laughs> okay, just about two more minutes. It's just a very high quality product, a very high quality box. It's really just beautiful. And then look at that. That is just gorgeous. It looks like a perfume bottle. And it, I mean, you would love to give that as a gift to anyone. I mean, it's just really pretty. And it looks like a perfume bottle. And you could put it on your dresser when you're at a hotel and you don't have to worry about anybody knowing what it is. And this is the 100 millimeter size. So if you get this size, this is, I believe this is the full size. And um, if you get this size, and like I said, if you use my discount code, which is in the description and scrolling across your screen, 
um, you get a free refill for this bottle. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, so I'm gonna try it. And so, you know, okay. So this is something a little one off from my channel, but we're talking about bachelor and bachelorette parties, right? So this is a little one off from my channel, but I wanted to try this. And everybody that I know on Facebook absolutely loves this product. And so I wanted to bring this to you guys because I, if it hadn't been for Facebook, I wouldn't have known about it. And so I want to compare it to what people normally would use, which is Astroglide, right? And of course it's leaking out all over the bottle. So I'm not, I don't even have to take it. And it's just goopy. I mean, it's just everywhere, right? It's sticky when it dries, it's tacky. It's just, women don't like that. And I'm sure some men don't either. So let's just move this out of the way. And let's check my stuff again. All right. So those are done and I'm just gonna let them cool. Gonna let those cool. So let's try this. Oops, I am opening the whole thing. <laughs> Don't wanna do that. Oh, that can't be right. I'm sorry, Trish, I'm just messing things up. <laughs> okay, that can't be right. Sorry, Trish, I don't mean to mess this up for you. <laughs> This is just my train wreck. Oh, here we go. Now it's opening. Maybe. Does it just pop off? <laughs> it just pops off. Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Trish. <laughs> this is your first time on my channel. I'm a train wreck, so you just know this is just me. <laughs> Oh, wow. So compared to compared to the Astroglide, I mean, this just feels so silky and it's not sticky. Oops. It's not sticky and oh, it just feels so soft and it's unscented. So if you have any um, allergies to scents and stuff. Oh, my. So I really like the feel of that. Oops. Not very good with this camera. I really like the feel. It just feels very soft and silky. I mean, you could, this is really nice. So I hope you guys like that. I mean, and give it a try. I can't wait to try it. But so, yeah, I hope you guys like that unboxing. It's really a beautiful bottle. And like I said, if you buy it, the first 10 people that buy this size will get um, a free refill. And so I really am looking forward to trying that. I just love this product. It just looks so pretty. And you, like I said, you can leave it on your counter and nobody will know what it is. So again, it's Unchained Goddess and I hope you guys like it and give it a try. <laughs> okay, so a couple more bachelorette things before we move on to more food, right? Okay, so... Um, Things for bachelorette parties. I couldn't find these exact cards, but you'll have a link in the description. I found two cards for women. Um, we're actually two sets of cards. One is a couple's card. And um, let me see if I can find it. So the couple's cards are called Talk, Flirt, Dare. It's three games in one. And um, thank you, Trish. Um, it's three games in one. So the first one's talk. So, you know, you can open up to each other, talk, gives you uh, uh, topics to talk about. Second one is flirt, you know, get your little flirty on, right? And then the third one is dare. And I can just imagine what dare is, right? The one that I really like is for um, bachelorette parties. And it has a talk game where you can, you know, get communicating with, you know, people and uh, talking to people that you don't 
normally know. The drink game, who doesn't love that? Discover who in your group isn't as innocent as they seem, it says. With the classic adult drinking game, never have I ever. So that's really fun. And then the last part of the game is dare, which is after a few drinks, head to a club, bar or party with your dare deck to get wild, meet new people and make memories. So that's kind of fun, right? And then the last little thing for bachelorette parties and, and um, even bachelor parties are these little cute, um, little, little sex dice. So you've got your little positions and then um, what you're supposed to, like body part and then what you're supposed to do. So like if you shake it and it says tease boobs and then you can do for the, um, for the positions, it's got like positions. So this is kind of fun too. And all the links of this stuff is in the description. And then the last thing that I wanted to showcase really quickly is for your bachelorette parties is this great cookbook. It is called 50 Shades of Chicken. And it is hilarious. It's a parody of the 50 Shades of Grey, but it's got these great chicken recipes. I've made the spatchcock chicken. Um, it is, oh, there's some great recipes in here, but it also has like some parody of the movie. And then there's also a bacon version and there's a couple of other types of versions of the 50 Shades. And so this is a great bachelorette, bachelor party gift that I highly recommend. Um, this is a lot of fun. So I think it's time to try our making our bowls. <laughs> And let me, it's a great, Trish, it's a great cookbook. You'll love it. <laughs> um, I am going to, work on our prosciutto cups now. So back to Pampered Chef. I've always wanted this one, a one-handed um, thing to decorate cookies with because you know, the two-handed ones kind of are really difficult. And so this one is about $30 and it comes with six tips. And um, I am going to use it for the first time. So which one did I want? I think it was this one. All right. Alrighty, so I am going to fill this up. So let's see. Hey, Eleanor, how are you? I don't want to miss anybody. All right, so now we're back to food. So we're going to make these prosciutto cups. And um, I have pre-made my um, um, goat cheese milk. I'm going to add a uh, goat cheese milk. Goat cheese mousse. I'm going to add a little bit more milk in there. And basically, it's just goat cheese, uh, green onions, and milk. All right. So we have our little prosciutto cups. They're just little tiny, aren't they cute? So we're gonna take those out. They are just so cute. Okay, so. I really love this dress that I'm wearing, but one of the things that bothers me the most about it is those little tiny buttons and it always gets stuck in your hair. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put some of this uh, goat cheese in here. And if you don't have a goat uh, a goat cheese press, if you don't have any kind of, um, um, I don't know what you call this other than a cookie decorator. If you don't have any kind of food pusher, whatever you want to call it, you can always just use a plastic bag and you just cut the tip off. But um, since I've got one of these, I can't wait to try it. All right. Okay. And I just love that it's one-handed. Look at that. I love it. So can you guys see that? There you go. I didn't put enough stuff in there. Let me put some more in there. I didn't think I would use it all, but you definitely need to put it a lot in there to make it work easier, I think. So let's put some more in there. It smells really good. Can't wait to try it. I love goat cheese and it goes great with champagne and um, it's a great appetizer and it's so simple. All right, let's try this again. There we go, it's a little easier. There you go. All right, so here's our little goat cheese cups. And I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley, possibly. There it is. <laughs> put a little bit of parsley, just to give it some color. There you go. And didn't those turn out really cute? Those are really cute. All right, let's try one. And I need some more champagne. Take a break. Yeah, oh, that's right. You're getting ready to graduate. Congratulations, Eleanor. Yeah, I love to cook. Oh, Lisa's always cooking is here. Thank you for coming. Who else have I missed? I hope I haven't missed anybody. And I want to thank Trish again for coming. That was really awesome that you were able to come. Um, if you, in case you missed it, um, I showcased a product, Unchained Goddess, that I am Facebook friends with the creator, and she was gracious enough to send me a sample, and I can't wait to try it. And um, if you use my discount code, you will get, you're welcome, Trish. If you use my discount code, you will get um, a free refill if you're one of the first 10 people from using my discount code. All right, so let's try one of these, because I can't wait. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. These are so good. I love the um, the goat cheese and the green onion and the prosciutto. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I highly recommend you guys try that recipe. It's so easy. 
and it's so cute and it's great for parties all right so let me clean up a little bit just so I have a little bit more room I need another one of these they are really good guys I think you guys will really like that recipe it's really good my favorite thing to cook I don't know I have so many things um probably steak fritz is really good um oh and yeah trish we will do a follow-on that's a great idea um it's hard for me to decide i like to cook so much <laughs> you gotta wait for courtney yeah tell courtney i said hello i can't wait to work with you so Noam and i are gonna do a collaboration soon. We're going to talk about bourbon and we're going to talk about wine. So, speaking of bourbon, for the guys, I have, and for the ladies that like bourbon too, I have bourbon. I also have these great glasses that are a perfect gift for anyone that likes whiskey. These are so pretty. Look at those. They're so gorgeous. We got them as a bye, y'all. Um, um, we got these as a gift from a dear friend, Dwayne, and we love them so much that we bought some others. And um, you can get them on Amazon. You'll have the link below. And um, they also come in a really nice box that's perfect for gift giving. And they're just really sophisticated, lovely glasses. I highly recommend these for the whiskey lover in your life. They're really nice glasses. Okay, so I forgot the bourbon. Hang on. All right, so we are testing today the Russell's Reserve 10. Brian loves this one. Um, let's see. So, oddly enough, I did not know this, but the people that make Russell's are the same people that make wild turkey. And I don't really care for wild turkey that much, but this is really good. Hey, Simply Wendy, nice to see you. And um, this is a great bourbon if you like bourbons. Um, it says, um, Master distillers and premier whiskey makers Jimmy and Eddie Russell have brought nearly 100 years of combined experience to artful, artfully crafting Russell's Reserve 10-year old bourbon bottled as 90 proof. This hand-selected small batch bourbon has a rich caramel and vanilla taste and a uniquely smooth finish. And um, I'm going to try it without ice, but then I'm going to add ice because I prefer ice with my whiskey. And I'm not going to pour too much because me and whiskey, I'll be all over the place. So this is very nice. It's got a great color. And the thing that I like about this whiskey is it's not overly alcohol forward like other whiskeys and bourbons can be, like Jack Daniels and some of the others. It's not very alcohol forward at all, and I really like it. And I do love the caramel. You can definitely taste that. And I'm going to get it because I like ice in my whiskey. 
I have these great um, uh, silicone square uh, ice tray, and you can get these at Zule Kitchen. And like I said, my discount code is in the description. Got to spank it. <laughs> Gotta spank that ice tray. At least we know it's not gonna go flying out at me, right? <laughs> you know, they say silicone is easy. It's not. <laughs> it's coming though. <laughs> it says it's supposed to pop right out. There we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Those are great. Love that. So it should fit right in there and it won't, it'll melt really slow so that my whiskey doesn't get watered. So I definitely prefer um, that. So let's make another appetizer, shall we? Okay. So let me put my ice away. Let me put my whiskey away. Because I'm quickly running out of space in my kitchen. <laughs> and I tried to organize it really well. All right. So we're going to make this great brie appetizer that also goes great with champagne and it's really really simple it just takes a few ingredients and you're gonna love it normally i make my own baguettes but um i decided just to um i decided just to buy the store-bought because it was just simpler and you want to cut you want to cut your, um, you don't have to. I like to cut my baguette on the bias just so that it looks a little nicer. And you want to cut it about a half an inch. And I always have problems cutting. I don't know why. It just doesn't like me. And this is like a fairly new knife. So it's not the knife, it's, it's the operator. And since it's just me, I'm just going to make a couple. And then, Brian, we can have Frenchy sandwiches tomorrow for lunch. Because I know you like those. Before you have to go to work. All right. So. I'm going to have another one of these. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to brush. Um, brush our baguettes with some olive oil. And I just use a clean um paintbrush and um i love you guys saw the unboxing i love these olive oil bottles that i got from zule kitchen um they come with this cap that you can like for travel it comes with it comes with the flip top and it comes with a pour spout and then the thing i love most about about it where did it go it was in here it comes with its own funnel and I don't have that right now but it comes with a, its own funnel so when you take this out you put the little funnel in there and then you pour it from the big bottle into this so I love that 
So we're just gonna brush our baguette with some olive oil. And then I'm just going to put them in the broiler for just a couple of minutes. So I'm going to have to pay attention because I don't want them to burn. So I have the timer for two minutes just in case I lose track, but I don't want those to burn. You know, no, you know what I really like? What did I admit? <laughs> um, so I really like the prosciutto, avocado, and the Melba toast. That is really a great lunch. I love that. And I'm going to cut, so I have brie. I like the president's brie, so I've got some brie. This stuff that you can get on Amazon is really good. This fig spread, it is so good. And then I'm going to have some prosciutto as well. I think my bread's almost done. Let me check. Yep, bread's done. You don't want it to get too, too toasty. I'm gonna let that cool. You guys are gonna love this. This is really a yummy, yummy, yummy snack or appetizer for a party. So we're letting the letting the um, the crostinis cool, and then I'm gonna cut my brie. And you guys know that you can eat the rind, right? I love brie; it is so good. And you definitely want this at room temperature as well. So I've got four. So I'm just going to make a couple of slices. I want the end piece though. And you can cut on the, you know, as thick or thin that you like. And then let me go and get the um, prosciutto. I mean the crostinis. Okay, so this is the best part. So you're gonna take some of your brie and you can cut it so that it fit. Oh wait, forgot, oh, forgot the important part. Gotta have the fig spread. Fig spread comes first. So you wanna take some of the fig spread and put it on your uh, crostinis. And trust me, you guys are going to love this fig spread. It is so good. So you just put that on there. Then you put your brie on top.
And then the last thing is you add some bruschetta. And you just can just kind of put it like that. You don't have to like make it fancy. How's that? Very simple. It is so good. So I made this a couple of weeks ago for my girlfriend Charlotte's party, her birthday party, and everybody loved it. I actually had to make a second batch. I made a first batch, and luckily I brought enough for two because, oh, fig tree, so cool. Um, I had to make another second batch, so I'm glad I brought extra because it went like that i didn't even get any <laughs> so everybody loves this um it is a it is definitely a crowd pleaser you guys are going to love this recipe it's definitely like i said it's definitely a crowd pleaser so let's check the chat make sure i haven't missed anything because i want to make sure i say hi to everybody i love you guys so much and i really appreciate you guys being here Okay, I don't think I missed anybody. All right, so let's try this because I'm hungry. Even after I've been eating those other things, it's really good. Oops. <laughs> the, the fig stuff kind of melted out. Because you definitely want to keep the, let the crostinis cool a little bit before you make them up, but I'm kind of pressed for time. But they are so good. And it goes great with the champagne. Let's try it with the whiskey. Let's try it with the bourbon. Huh. Not bad. I actually think this goes with bourbon. Hmm. Let me try this again. And you can see that the ice hasn't even melted hardly at all. Oh my gosh, no, if you're still here, this really goes. I mean, it really goes. I think the fig, especially with the, um, with the caramel of the bourbon, oh my gosh, this is a really good pairing. You guys are gonna love it if you love bourbon. This is a great pairing. You guys are going to love it. Oh my gosh. All right. So let me look on my agenda here real quick. Cause this was a all kinds of stuff party. Oh, I need to talk more about Zule. Love Zule. So you guys have seen um, the zoo, uh, the unboxing of the um, of the olive oil bottle, and then we've talked about our um, our um, mocha pot. I love our mocha pot. So if you have a friend that you're shopping for that loves espresso. And it's just so much money to spend on coffees right now. This mocha pot is amazing. Um, I love it. It's from Zule Kitchen. It's absolutely amazing. Um, check out my how to use a mocha pot video. You're going to love this mocha pot. It is awesome. I love it. We have two. And then to also make your coffee drink. We have this electric um, milk frother and it also makes hot chocolate, which is really great. And then uh, Zule, they don't have this particular thing, but they do have a lot of immersion uh, frothers. And uh, my friend Charlotte has one and they love it. So you can check out on Zule Kitchen, they have the immersion uh, handheld frothers. 
So Charlotte loves that. And let's see, agenda, agenda. And then so um, I have some other things that I don't have here that uh, I recommend for parties is uh, the GoPro Hero 9, um, oh, excuse me, GoPro Hero 8, the waterproof action camera. That is a great gift. Uh, I don't want to drag it out, but my Oster Blender, I'm going to do a review on that. That is a great uh, gift. And then let's talk. Oh, and then I also have the salt and pepper shakers. Forgot to bring them over. This, they come in this beautiful box. Sunday is my unboxing video. So check out Sunday. These uh, salt and pepper shakers are amazing and they come in a beautiful box and it makes a great gift. And so I highly recommend that you check out my video on Sunday for the salt and pepper shakers. Because they're really, really nice salt and pepper shakers. And then let's do one more thing. The best part about being a foodie is what? Cookbooks. And we're going to talk celebrity cookbooks. So I already showed you the 50 Shades of Chicken. I love that book. I got it at a Christmas party. And it's a great cookbook. You guys are going to love it. Oh, the fake spread is, um, I got it on Amazon and I meant to put the link in the description and I forgot, but I got it at, at Amazon and it's really good. I think it was like seven or eight dollars and it's Davina. It's really good. Let's see. What else did I miss? Yeah. Christine's. I love Christine's. They're so awesome. Yeah, Fig and Brie, I'm drooling too. <laughs> All right, so you guys saw the 50 Shades of Chicken cookbook. Love that cookbook. My favorite celebrity chef is Giada De Laurentiis. Brian's in love with her. He thinks he's married to her, but he's not. And uh, so this is my favorite. The one I love, the thing I love about this one is that it, the cover's embossed. It's not the typical um, paper cover like you get on other ones. This one is embossed. And um, it's just really nice. And um, this is when she spent some time in Capri, which we love. And there's these great recipes in here. And I really love this cookbook. I'm actually going to be doing some more recipes out of here. And then I love 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 who doesn't love stanley tucci if you have not if you have not seen stanley tucci in julie and julia oh my gosh you are missing out you need to watch julie and julia it is um it is based on julia child's life she was in she worked in the OSS but how she got her or her husband worked in the OSS but how she got her start uh he was stationed in France and she went to culinary school the movie is fantastic he is fantastic in that movie love Stanley Tucci he's I've got my markers in there he's got some great recipes as well and um I love Stanley Tucci he's just an amazing amazing actor and an amazing chef. He's got some great recipes. And then, of course, I have my other Giada De Laurentiis. There are some great easy recipes in this one. And then last, I have, he's the new guy that we like right now, Rick Stein. He's British. And, oh, my gosh, there are some amazing recipes. He's uh, got a show on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime uh and we're watching the far east odyssey right now and i ordered that book and it hasn't come yet so oh my gosh rick stein is amazing so those are my recommendations for cookbooks so i think that is everything for today it was an action-packed episode oh my gosh i didn't think i'd be able to get it all done on time 
So I hope you guys really enjoy these recipes. So we'll get a little bit of a recap because I'm hungry. <laughs> Let me put the close-up cam back on. So we made the goat cheese prosciutto cups, and then we made some uh, fig, brie, and prosciutto crostinis, and they were amazing. And then we also made, I didn't drink it all, we also made the strawberry lemon slash, which is a simple cocktail. I just muddled some strawberries, added about half of the glass with lemonade, and then the other half with um, sparkling wine, champagne, whatever that you have. And it's a great cocktail. So we have that. And then, of course, we had regular champagne from the Gruet uh, Winery, which is a local winery here in New Mexico. I highly recommend it. Um, you can order online. I think it's gruetwinery.com. And um, they may have it in their total wine. Or whatever and I want to just check <sighs> let's see yeah you know cookbooks oh my gosh if I showed you how many cookbooks I have I probably don't have as many as a as a lot of people do but I have probably about 20 <laughs> at least um, the fig spread I said that I got it on Amazon love that fig spread and alrighty I am exhausted. So I really appreciate you guys joining me and sticking for the whole time. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. And um, again, I've got Zule Kitchen uh, discount code in the description. And I have the Unchained Goddess discount code in the description. That code is good for, uh, the discount code is good for everyone, but the first 10 people that order the full size product and um, with my discount code will get the free refill. And I saw the refill, it's actually a really decent, I mean, it's not just like a plastic, uh, plastic, like a plastic, um, like a salad dressing packet or something. It is a nice bottle itself, but um, and it's easy. It has like a little funnel type thing to squeeze it into your bottle. And so I hope you check out Unchained Goddess. Um, we will do a follow-up video on that with Brian so he can attest to how well he likes it. And um, thank you so much. Thank you, Wendy and Eleanor and Yali and Noam and uh, Trish, from, Trish from Unchained Goddess was here and recipes and uh, unclassified andrew i think there was that recipe guy no i don't want to miss anyone i love you guys thank you so much for joining my live stream today and i hope you have a great rest of your day and the rest of your weekend and take care of yourselves bye